GC's back. Get ready to shop. This is a $65, a $65.90 Zakarian cast iron. Going to last for a lifetime. Call me back in 40 years and let me know how this is working. Non-stick baker, which is the key here. Cast iron that is also non-stick in a classic 13 by 9. My wife bought one of Jeffrey's um, uh, pans recently, the non-stick, seared those steaks and caramelized these fillets the other night, and they were so incredibly good. We're not even putting them on the grill, or we're not searing them and finishing them in the oven. All in the pan. All we needed to do, because they heat up so well, and I did the cleanup. She did the cooking on that night. I did the cleanup. And I'm telling you, the cleanup is so ridiculously easy. So this is a huge opportunity here. And there is no reorder on this item. Only show at this price. It's about to go away. It's 5 payments that anybody could take advantage of. It's $8.99. Let's get going. Jeffrey, welcome back into the queue, my friend. How you doing? Thank you, Rick. I am doing great. We are transitioning into an incredible item that we have had we introduced this about, I think, almost two years ago on QVC. It, it's been such a top-rated item. So fantastic. Cast iron meets the magic of non-stick, a even heating, safe, PFOA-free non-stick that is miraculous on any condition, whether you have induction like I have here, gas, electric, let me see, campfire, cave fire, uh, <laughs> Bakes up to 500 degrees. Uh, but it doesn't matter what you're doing. This is fantastic. It is, there's no rules. So family meals, holiday meals, everything you want to do here. Don't have to season it. You can put pasta. I have a gorgeous bolognese. You can put vinegar and tomatoes and all that. And you don't have to put it uh, away and hide it from people because it's cast iron. They're not going to ruin it. It's a magnificent piece and it is real. This is a really heavy cast iron nonstick. It's magical, uh, and, and you're gonna when you see this. If you can talk about gifts, when you give this gift to someone, they're gonna have it forever, and they're gonna be so thankful because they don't have to like the cleanup on a cast iron pan is a lot of work. This simple. It's just a wipeout. I, I gotta let everybody know too. Love that you said that. But here's what people have to realize. Listen to this. Listen to that sear. Listen to oh, that. Oh, I sizzle. love it. Because people might say, "Can I sear a steak?" on a non-stick pan. People might be skeptical. This sucker is searing on there. It is caramelizing. It is browning. It's amazing. That looks, come on, everybody. And it's huge. You're going to use this as a traditional pan on your stovetop, in your oven, anywhere you want, because it's true cast iron. But that non-stick, I love that non-POFA uh, non-stick. So it's good. It's safe. And you're going to love it. Just fantastic. Love the helper handles. And why, why the size and why the shape on this one, Jeffrey? Well, because you can do everything in this. You can bake, you can do roast, you can crumble, you can uh, do all kinds of cooking. You go right from the stove, as I'm going to show you right now. I have a little bolognese going here. Now, normally bolognese you can't do in cast iron because there's so many rules. You can't have pasta with red sauce or vinegar or anything acidic. It destroys the cast iron, not this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my bolognese I'm finishing here with some Parmesan cheese. Some fresh basil. Oh, 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 look at that. And here's why this is gorgeous. Because I'm going to go right to the table with it and put it on a trivet at the table. And guess what? It stays hot. So you eat hot food. Revolutionary. Yeah. But a lot of people don't eat hot food. It's really, for, especially for someone who is a restaurateur, you need to eat your food hot. Yeah. So this will stay hot. It's going to stay there. Everybody's going to get the first bite, second bite, the third bite hot. Really important. Simple stuff, old-fashioned stuff, but perfect stuff. Well, classic stuff, right? Now, this is our, uh, our cobbler, right? This is classic, but you know what we just saw? We showed a little graphic on the amazing char you can get on a steak. You can see it. This is live. This is not computer animation. You don't need internet access to see this. You can hear it. You can see it. That is cast iron. Look at that, baby. You can hear it and see it. That is so hot. So fantastic. That caramelization is everything on a great steak. Look at our salmon steaks. They're done to perfection. I could still put this in the oven. Not a problem, obviously, Jeffrey, if you put it in the oven. But look at that. That is how a salmon no. should be. And so every everybody in our kitchen, all our all our kitchens outfitted with cast iron. 
Now it's cast iron nonstick. Cast iron, why? Because it's even. Every surface is perfect. It heats, it holds, it's miraculous. And that's why it's a workhorse for generations, as you said earlier. But the problem has always been the cleanup. You gotta like take care of it. You gotta rub it with salt, rub it with oil. It's just a pain in the neck. Not anymore. I'm gonna show you a little test. I have this incredible frittata that just came out of the oven. Go Actually, it. it's a little warm. And I'm gonna put a board on it. I'm gonna flip it. Oh. And for a gorgeous brunch item, you're just gonna see what's happening. Watch this, you ready? Look at that. Oh! Now, look at, I wanna show you the cleanup. Can you see the pan here? Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna take a rag and go like this. That's the cleanup. That's been in the oven for like 45 minutes. And now it's clean. So that's why this is revolutionary. And it's gonna save a lot of people a lot of time. I wish it was around a long time ago, but it wasn't. It just takes so much time to clean and then repurpose cast iron because you gotta like, okay, now I'm done cooking. Now I gotta take care of the cast iron. It's gotta be re-oiled, re-seasoned. It's a pain. Right. Not anymore. That's all gone. No seasoning. No, no, no seasoning necessary. So you did it. You used the cast iron because it was worth it, because it was such great cooking. But then you had to sacrifice the time and energy and effort. And you had to say, oh hey, I've got to soak it. Sometimes you soak it overnight. You gotta scour oh, it. Oh my goodness. No need to worry about that whatsoever. Would you recommend I'm using um Kind of plastic utensils or traditional utensils on this, though. Well, if this is nonstick, so you want to do uh, either wood or something uh, silicone, uh, so you don't scratch it. But it, you see what you're scooping out there, and if you notice what you're scooping out, there's nothing to clean once you like just wipe it with a, a wet towel and soap and water, and it's nothing done. To clean. So look I, at that. No, it's amazing. So this goes from the oven, the top of the stove to the oven to the table. It's a one-pot plan. It's really spectacular saves you time and food is warm. And if you have this gorgeous brunch you want to throw and say, I have a gorgeous macaroni and cheese. And yeah. I know David has had a long day. So I wish he, he I'm going to send this to him, but like, look at that. Look at that mac and cheese. I'm going to have a little bite of this. And I'm just going to take this out. And I want to sort of emphasize that if you can take a look at the corner of this pan, it's not like, it's not like crusted and stuffed to the bottom. It's clean. And that's why this is so fantastic. And you have 500 degree cast iron in back of you. It's like turbocharged. It's having, when you step on the gas, you really go. And that's what cast iron does for you. Here comes the size. Here comes the opportunity. The big ham can go in here. The lasagna can go in here. Oh yeah. The, the, the wonderful crumble that we just did can go in here and you can come back and bake with it, not a problem. But if you want to use this on top of this stove, I don't know of a better example than what we have here. I mean, those in the final minute, those salmon, those salmon steaks are done, and they are done to perfection. You can hear it. A little bit of oil in there. This steak is just—I just want to dive into that. Look at that, baby. Look at that. That looks amazing. Yeah, you can't. Well, you can't do that with a real Teflon pan. It's too thin. But it's real cast iron. Is that the sear we get in a restaurant? Now you get double, double, double trouble because you get the real sear, but you have it clean. You don't have to like wipe it out. And we have a lot of people that call me all the time saying, oh my gosh, I keep these pans out all the time. I used to hide them because it was cast iron. It, looked, it freaked me out. Now they have them on the stove. They get up, they make eggs, they make bacon, they wipe it out. They'll do a, a tart or a cinnamon roll or a cruller. No problem, they'll wipe it out. They'll do quiche. No problem, they'll wipe it out. And it's always out there using it. And that's why cast iron is so fantastic. Finally, we're using cast iron more and more and more. Uh, Jeffrey, thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. One time only price goes away at end of day. Five easy payments goes away at end of day. We got a lot of people on the line right now. Only here at the Q can you do this. A thousand people on the line, K48209. I'll let you know that uh, the Food Network app offer is also coming along with this to get six months of the Food Network on that app, the Food Network Kitchen. And coming up, we have some fun with Lock and Lock, more fun from Temptations. 